Say what you will about action movies, but there is something special about two people trying to beat the shit out of each other on screen. These are the top 10 fight scenes of all time. He's beginning to believe. Starting us off at number 10, the original Matrix. While you've gotta love the Trinity fight and Morpheus's kung fu lesson, nothing can quite beat the subway standoff between Agent Smith and Neo. From bullet time gunplay to knockout kung fu brawling, this fight blended sci-fi special effects with hand-to-hand -hand choreography to create an action format that Hollywood had never seen before. You're empty. So are you. And while the Wachowskis deserve big praise for the Matrix, the credit for the fight scenes rightly belongs with a man named Yoon Woo King. Known by his work, if not his name, Yoon is one of the most influential figures in Hong Kong action cinema. He's helped launch the careers of greats like Jackie Chan, Jet Li, and Donnie Yen, and revolutionized action choreography in both Hong Kong and Hollywood. When you think of boxing scenes, it's probably the iconic final bout of Rocky that first comes to mind. And don't get us wrong, the fighting in Rocky was awesome. In all four original Rockies and Rocky Balboa, we don't talk about Rocky V. But for our number nine slot, we've got to hand it to Raging Bull. Scorsese's masterpiece portrait of boxer Jake LaMotta gave us artful fight poems, more expressionistic and subjective than real but nothing hits quite as hard as the final Sugar Ray Robinson fight. Scorsese reacted against the spectator point of view cinematography of boxing films like Rocky by putting his camera in the ring, choreographing cinematographer Michael Chapman like a third fighter. As for De Niro, he trained with the actual Jake LaMotta, putting in months of work and thousands of sparring rounds. He fought in three actual Brooklyn boxing matches, two of which he won. LaMotta even told De Niro he was good enough to make a career of it. Fortunately for us, he stuck with acting, but not before treating us to one of the most brutal boxing scenes of all time. If you paid any attention to action films recently, you may have noticed a trend for gritty, brutally real fight scenes coming from places other than Hong Kong. Most recently, The Raid turned Americans on to the insanity coming out of Indonesia and left us with a final fight between the brothers and Mad Dog that had us fooled for the real thing. But our number eight looks back a little further to another gritty final fight with Ong Ba. The crazy mix of acrobatics and martial arts electrified audiences and introduced the world to action star Tony Ja, choreographer Pratya Pinkeo, and the art of Muay Thai itself. Tony Jaa's Muay Thai is all elbows and knees, but in the best way possible, as he and his team completely avoided wires and effects for his fights. And it all leads up to a full throttle conclusion that sees Ja prove once and for all that there's more to the martial arts than Kung Fu. Next up, we're looking at Jason Bourne. And while he's got some killer moves in identity and supremacy, our number seven goes to his fight with Desh in the Bourne Ultimatum. You know any fight that keeps up its intensity without any music is going to be vicious. And Jeff Imada is the man to thank for this one, choreographing it with a combination of Filipino Kali and Jeet Kune Do, Bruce Lee's martial arts invention that Imada learned from training with Lee's son Brandon. But it's the ruthless efficiency and practical use of props that makes this scene great. And while some people have criticized the fight for relying too heavily on shaky cam, it only takes one quick look behind the scenes to realize that these actors are hardly taking it easy. Love it or hate it, Wirefu is one of the most dividing subjects when it comes to fight scenes, and when it's bad, it's awful. But when it's used to elevate brilliant martial artists instead of substituting for them, it can be absolutely incredible. The pole fight from Iron Monkey, the bamboo fight from House of Flying Daggers, but what better martial artist to elevate than Jet Li in Hero? If you haven't seen Hero, it's Hong Kong's biggest budget film to date, and for good reason. Each set-piece fight is a story told between Jet Li's Nameless and the King, each story with its own eye-candy color scheme. There's red, yellow, blue, green, white, but our number six goes to the gray fight. Director Yimu Jang and choreographer Ching Siu Tung bring us one of the most incredible examples of weapon work ever shot on film. The only catch is that the entire fight takes place inside their minds. The two fighters battle viciously with sword and spear back and forth, vying meditatively for the upper hand. But when the music stops, the imagined fight resolves itself in just one fateful strike.
Next up at number 5, Kill Bill. While Volume 2 has a great fight between the Bride and L driver, we've gotta hand it to the slaughter that is the Crazy 88 battle in Volume 1. Although, an honorable mention goes to the Gogo Yubari fight immediately before it. Tarantino's loving send-up of the 70s kung fu flick is all kinds of awesome, and the Crazy 88 fight is campy in all the best ways. From the eye pluck, to the sound as they run up the stairs, to the very notion of the Bride fighting so many bad guys at once. But the fighting itself is top notch and that's thanks again to Yoon Woo Ping's world-class choreography. If you notice a glaring absence in our list of incredible Wuxia wire Fu mentions, it's probably because we picked it as our number four, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. The 100-foot high bamboo fight is gorgeous, but the face-off that leads up to it is even better. Moving from Kill Bill's one kick-ass chick to two others, and another entry from legendary choreographer Yoon Wu Ping, we've got to be talking about the fight between Zi Yi Zhang and Michelle Yao. Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon saw Ang Lee bring Wuxia action to the Hollywood mainstream, breaking records for foreign film earnings, foreign film Oscar nominations, and the only martial arts film to ever be nominated for Best Picture. And watching this fight scene, it's not hard to see why. Michelle Yao throws everything she has at Zi Zhang and her Green Destiny Sword, which cuts down Yao's attempts and every weapon imaginable in rapid succession. But ultimately, Yao's superior abilities overcome Zhang's weapon, leaving us with one of the best Wuxia fights of all time. Counting down our top three, there's only room left for legends. And while you probably have some good guesses, our number three goes to a legendary fighter who isn't so well known in America. We're talking about Donnie Yen. If you know him, it's probably from Ip Man, where he beats on fellow masters, northern challengers, Japanese generals, and even 10 black belts at a time. Or you might know him as Jet Li's opponent from our previously mentioned number six best fight ever, Hero. Or their other incredible face-off in Once Upon a Time in China 2. You could remember him from his work in Iron Monkey, or his turn as a villain in Shanghai Nights and you might even recognize him from a small role in Blade 2. But you probably haven't seen the incredible work he does in his breakout film, Killzone SPL. The final fight sees him and his mixed martial arts style squaring off against Hong Kong action choreography legend Sam Hung. But that's not our pick either. Our pick goes to the fight right before it, between Yin and Wu Jing, that Yin both fought in and choreographed. Many fights on this list took days or even weeks to stage and shoot, not including the weeks or months it might have taken to learn the choreography. But this fight from SPL was filmed in only one night and was largely improvised. Intimately familiar with each other's fighting styles, having trained in martial arts together, the two competed on set over who could hit the other first, with Yin allegedly breaking three of his batons over Wu Jing's forearms. The result is a fight that doesn't just look like a string of impressive dance moves, but two fighters sizing each other up, working hard and reacting, leading to one of of the most kinetic and dangerous flurries of action ever captured on screen. What the? With two spots left, at least one of them has to go to Jackie Chan. Now, we could fill this entire top 10 with Jackie Chan fights and still feel like we'd left some out, but for our number two, there can be only one. But how to choose? There's the early Jackie Chan just discovering his new brand of action comedy as choreographed by Yoon Woo Ping, like Drunken Master, or the brutal one-on-one -on -one duels staged by Sammo Hung in movies like Wheels on Meals and Dragons Forever. Of course, Chan is best known for his inventive use of props with his stunt team, like in the latter fight from First Strike or the warehouse fight from Rumble in the Bronx. But our number two goes to the final factory fight in Jackie Chan's masterpiece, Legend of the Drunken Master. What the hell is that? What does it mean when there's a picture of a skull? Oh, good stuff. The fight goes on for over 10 minutes and includes Jackie's signature comedy fighting, ridiculous use of flaming props, and most hilariously, his drunken boxing style, which sees him gain his strength from booze like some kind of alcoholic Popeye. This scene was choreographed and directed by Jackie himself after firing another legendary choreographer, Lau Kar Lung, for being too traditional. And we're kinda glad he did, because this fight stands as the most iconic fight in a career of hundreds, thanks to Jackie's incredible skills and limitless creativity. You have offended my family, and you have offended a Shaolin Temple.
And finally, at number one, who else could we pick but Bruce Lee? Without the master himself, we probably wouldn't even have this list. Bruce Lee is responsible not only for originally introducing Hong Kong action movies to American audiences, but for elevating the style to a new level and inspiring today's greats. He took on a whole dojo in Fists of Fury, fought Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in Game of Death, and even Chuck Norris in Way of the Dragon. But our number one is Bruce Lee's fight against every Hong Kong kung fu extra ever in Enter the Dragon. Not only is this fight a perfect example of Bruce Lee's landmark kicking, his nunchuck skills, and his ridiculously ripped abs, but it's also one of Jackie Chan's earliest roles. And while Lee's choreography certainly isn't as intricate or as polished as his successors, there's a trademark lethality to his every move that makes them look like they could actually kill you. And they probably could. Lee is famous for knocking over men twice his size with a one-inch punch, fighting any person on set who would walk up to him with a challenge, and inventing his own martial art. He's truly one of the greatest martial artists of all time, and we have him to thank for a tradition of incredibly talented fighters kicking the crap out of each other for our entertainment. So what do you think? What are some of your favorite fights that we left out? Did you think that some of our picks were less than impressive? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to Cinefix for more IndieWire movie lists.